Hi everyone, Fritz here. In today's video, we're gonna go over how you can install Apple CarPlay or Android Auto into your BMW for less than what BMW used to charge people on a yearly basis. Let's get into the video. What? BMW used to charge people a yearly subscription to have Apple CarPlay but no Android Auto in their cars every single year? That's nuts! Don't worry, in this video, we're not gonna go over a yearly or even a monthly subscription package that you have to buy in order to get these features that should be in your car for free. All that we're gonna need is really two things. We're gonna need one piece of hardware and one piece of software. The piece of software is actually called an APK, and I'm going to leave the link for it free for you to download in the description. And just so you know, this only works if you have the Android head unit in your car, and if you wanna install an Android head unit, I'm gonna leave a link for you over here. And for the software component, all that we have to do is download it from our computer onto a flash drive. So as my computer starting up, I like to use this flash drive because on one side, it has the regular USB connection. But on the flip side, because I use a MacBook, it has the Type-C connection as well. So just plug it in and drag over the APK into flash drive and eject it put that off to the side for now the hardware component that we actually need is a little dongle that will connect into one of the USB ports that we have in the Android head unit so this is just going to go in and it'll actually instruct us on when to put in this dongle the cool thing about this one is that because there's no wireless Android Auto for some reason, I just got the one that's wired for Apple CarPlay as well because I don't have an iPhone, I have an Android. To save a little bit of money, I just went with the wired version for the Apple CarPlay, which is the same for the Android Auto. But if you want wireless Apple CarPlay in your car, you can get the same dongle in a wireless version as well that's attached to a microphone, so you could activate Siri hypothetically. Now from inside the car, just pull out the vent and you don't need to pull it out all the way. Reach in for where you place your USB ports and then connect the USB drive into the port and wait for it to load up. On the screen, you should just be able to swipe down and select your USB drive and select that APK file. Hit continue and install. Hit open, allow and allow. Now it's saying to insert the box into the USB port so we can go ahead and disconnect our USB drive and connect our dongle. From there, we will get a new message instructing us to connect our phone to the USB dongle. Now on the opposite end of the box, you do have a port for another USB cable and this is where you're going to insert either your lightning port or your USB-C or if you're really old school, this is where you're gonna put it in that micro USB. There's a white light right above my thumb letting you know that it's on and that it's ready to receive the phone connection. Now for me, I have a USB-C that I will connect to my Android device and it will pull up a prompt on my phone. Go ahead and click download. If you don't already have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it'll ask you what you wanna give permissions to. Hit okay, yes I'm in. It'll take a second for everything to sync up. And then, just hit continue. Yes, I'm in one more time. And then, taking the phone away. There it is, connected to my maps. Got a notification right away. I can pick if I wanna to go to work, if I wanna to go to the mall. I can hit the home button and change out of Google Maps, go into Waze, cause I prefer Waze and everything starts to pop up. It's starting to use the data from my phone and the service from my provider rather than the Wi-Fi now in order to get this information. My initial thoughts are that it does look like the screen is a bit stretched, but considering that all you do is plug it in and everything just works, maybe it's a fair trade-off. 
When you disconnect your phone, you can go into your settings here, and in your settings, you can pick if you wanna do wireless, CarPlay, Android Auto, or if you wanna do a mirror screen when it's connected. Only the iPhone has the wireless option, but you do have to have the wireless receiver. So that white box, you're gonna to have to have the wireless version of that. You can select how you want the connection to be, the speed, the icons, all this stuff is in the settings for you. And at the bottom here, you're even able to check for updates. Now all that's left to do is to snug in those wires, make sure that everything still fits and that your vents aren't obstructed. Pop back in the vent, swipe up and your autoplay is ready to go for you. You just have to connect your phone when you're ready to do it. Or if you have the wireless version, it'll just start whether it's gonna be on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And just like that, you have your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto installed on your car, and all it did was cost you one piece of hardware and one piece of free software. That again is going to be in the link down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave any questions that you have in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.